you know, really, honestly, the, the title was sparked from hearing, I was living in Paris for some time, and I heard someone talking to me reference Martin Luther King and the way that they pronounced it sounded like Martyr Luther King, you know, Martin Luther King. And I was like, I froze, like, I know what you're talking about, but that just gave me an idea. Now, Martin Luther King is a story of a, a hacker uh, living in Burundi, in Central Africa, who uh, has had uh, a connection to like the Colton mines in nearby Congo and what have you, and ends up living on an e-waste camp where our old computers go to die, and he ends up constructing his own computer. And, uh, and when he does, he, he ventures into, you know, the virtual world and basically sets out with the idea of wanting to put his country, Burundi, on the map through a series of hacks and, and hoaxes that he pulls off online. He becomes somewhat of a virtual sensation uh, with when him, him and his friends create a podcast uh, called Martyr Loser Kingdom. And that podcast is the album component of my project. Every character in, in this story um, basically opens a door or a window for me to be able to talk about um, things, things in society that, that I guess I, that are kind of deemed important by like where we are at this time. So that this is a story that talks about like, uh, you know, ethnicity, uh, sexuality and gender issues, um, traditionalist per versus progressive views, um, technology. And so Marta Luther King is a character that's kind of like looking at the world from where he sits. And so here we have someone who is a direct descendant and subject of all of the colonial, imperialistic, you know, things that have been, you know, just pounded upon his land and his survival and what have you, who stands up with just insights, the only type of, you know, the insights that could only come from the belly of the beast. If you think that I'm doing all this and not having fun, you're crazy. Like saying something crazy in a song that speaks truth to power is how I laugh. It's really not heavy. I mean, like, when I blast Nina Simone and Fela and they're talking about like the zombie military like police that are beating up people and killing his mother and all of that. The music though is vibrant. I'm dancing like crazy. I'm not sitting there with my head down like, oh, this is so sad, you know? Part of, you know, it's, it's about making light of that journey, you know? And, 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 and yeah, and, 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 and having the courage to stand up to the power.